Thursday, April the 16th, Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 39, and Psalm 94, verses 12 to 19 are your texts. Uh, from Romans chapter 8, verse 37, Know in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. Secret agent. Have you ever felt like a secret agent? I have. To the outsider, I may seem fairly normal. If anything, I'm dismissible, even foolish. Yes, believers in Jesus are often ignored or mocked or even persecuted in the world. It probably seems futile that anyone would continue to suffer for the faith. But there's another side to my identity. I am a devil-fighting, mercy-spreading, gospel-sharing warrior. The devil knows who I am, and he hates me. But the one who is inside me is greater than the one who is in the world, from 1 John. The victory is won in Christ, and his spirit lives inside me. I am more than a conqueror. Or as we sing in hymn 467, the fifth stanza, My heart from care is free, no trouble troubles me. What ill can harm me? Nothing can separate me from the love of God. So no weapon hurled against me can prevail. Oh, sure, there will be pain. There will be battle scars, but I walk this world with eyes of eternity. An agent of God who goes where he sends, sends equipped with every good gift. Fellow believer, our God is with us. Our mission is clear. Let us live our lives in the glow of Jesus, resurrection, and the certainty of a new creation in our Savior. Let's do this. Lord, you have conquered all. Lead me to work with your will until the day you return. Amen. And from Luther on the Psalms, from uh, Luther's works, the 10th volume on Psalm 31, verse 9. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress my eye is wasted from grief my soul and all and my body this is a beautiful prayer of the conscience that is fearful and that acknowledges it, it it has sinned indeed this is the rule for for tropological language there's a a new one for you Look that up. Tropological language. T-R-O-P-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. What, whatever in the Psalms, Christ complains and prays in bodily affliction according to the letter. There is the same words. Every faithful soul born and trained in Christ complains and prays confessing that it has been tempted to sin, or has fallen into sin. For to the present day, Christ is spitted on, killed, scourged, crucified in, our, in us ourselves. Even now, there, uh, there lie in ambush for him without ceasing, the flesh with its feelings, the world with its pleasures, and the devil with his offers and temptations. So a penitent heart prays, tropologically. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Help us to go forth with penitent hearts, knowing that your joy and your grace and your gifts are the things that we can trust in. In Jesus' name, amen. Go in peace, serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.